Hey, if you want stronger, more reliable erections because you know within the next 24 hours, you're gonna be making love, then you need a game day plan. And what I'm gonna do is tell you what to avoid, what to do, and how to get your head into the game. Literally. <laughs> hey, this is Brian, AKA Uncle B. And for the last 20 years, I've been a sexual performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac. And of course, as a coach, I have to talk about the game day, the time when you're going to, you know, you're going to be making love. And so what is it that you need to do? And so today specifically, what I'm going to talk about is what you need to do in terms of sleep, what exercises to do, what to eat, and what to do with a pregame warm-up. And as a bonus, I'm gonna tell you how to set your mind straight, get your mind into the game, so that you're able to master these skills without it being difficult. And hey, as always, if you like what you hear, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and what I'm gonna do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, so it's 24 hours till game time. So you know that, you know, the, the wife is gonna be there, the kids are gonna be at grandma's house, the girlfriend's coming into town. So what do you do? Well, just like any performance, any athletic performance, a sexual performance is like an athletic performance and you need to have the, your, the game day rituals, what you do already in mind. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. And mind you, remember we talked about the sexual performance scale on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, everything works, one being on the lowest side, as in you're impotent, nothing works. Most guys use African fly between five and seven. This is for my guys who are six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is really for the guys who are sitting there at six and seven. It definitely works for the guys who are at a seven. And for my guys who are between a one and a five sitting there on a six, you need to be doing this every day. So pay attention. And like I said before, we're gonna take this from you know 24 hours ahead of time so you can sort of prep for the next day. All right, so you know what time this is gonna be happening. So before the game day, what are the things that you need to do? Well, the first is to go ahead and lift heavy. We're talking about doing squats or deadlifts, getting the major body parts going into it, or you're doing high intensity interval training so that you're getting your, your blood pumped up and you're using weights, et cetera, et cetera. These things help in terms of tearing muscle fibers so that you can your body will understand that it needs to produce more testosterone while you sleep. And remember the bursting and burning of testosterone is what fuels an erection. Now, of course, what you don't want to do is a high aerobic exercise. I mean, just getting onto a bike and riding, a stationary bike and riding for like 40 minutes or something like that, that'll actually burn through your testosterone. And of course, alcohol, this is one I had to learn personally, you know, just going through life and it's like, hey, everything is fine then, until you reach a certain age when it's like you had that drink the night before and then the next day things aren't working the same. So if you're trying to get ready for the next day, no alcohol the day before. And of course you wanna avoid having meat, not a meat-based dinner or even a, a meat-based lunch. And that's because when you go to sleep, um, when you have a meat-based meal, your erection time while you sleep, your erection's up for like uh, five times while you're asleep, it goes up by 300% and uh, the amount of hardness increases by 8%. So you want to avoid eating meat before you go to sleep. And of course, when you get to sleep, you want to get eight to 10 hours of high quality sleep. For every extra hour that you sleep, you get an extra 15% boost in your testosterone. And of course, you get high quality sleep by you want to get, you know, make sure your eyes are covered, the room is dark, all electronics are off, you haven't washed it for about an hour. And of course, you want to make sure you don't have any carbs or sugars right before you go to sleep because it's going to keep you up and definitely no caffeine for at least six hours before you go to sleep. So when it comes to the pregame, we're talking about it's that morning. You want to do start off with intermittent fasting as in, you know, intermittent fasting. You don't eat for 16 hours. And so basically you're just skipping breakfast. So you had that good long night's sleep and you're skipping breakfast. The longer you're uh, going without eating, the more your testosterone is building up. And of course, one of the best ways to have sex is actually in a fasted state because your body's not dealing with what's in your stomach. It's just dealing with what's going on. You're physically stronger when you're in a fasted state. I didn't say starving, I said fasted. And of course you wanna avoid sugar like the plague because sugar lowers your testosterone for a period of time 
time and the older you get, the more sugar you have, the longer that period of time is. And during the day, you wanna avoid a meat-based meal because it will cause inflammation in the body and it will lower your blood flow, which of course is not good for your erections. If you have a plant-based diet, blood is gonna flow through your body more easily because you have less inflammation and the types of plants that you wanna eat. So you're talking about watermelons, arugula, kale, beet juice, pomegranates, spinach, walnuts, oranges, and garlics. These are just a few. You can check out some of the other videos. I'll talk about some other foods that you can eat. Of course, you want to meditate to lower your cortisol levels, and that helps with boosting your testosterone. Now, of course, you also want to avoid watching porn. I have a video that talks about that and also masturbation. If you're gonna masturbate, don't masturbate till you ejaculate. If you're, if you're masturbating and you don't ejaculate, you actually increase your sexual power. So the game time warm up, we're talking about an hour out, something like that, where well, you actually want to warm up, stretch, do yoga, something like that, because this is a physical activity, so you do wanna be warmed up. You don't wanna pull a hammy while having sex. Yeah, I mean, you're really going for it if you do that. And also because that blood circulation is going to help with your erection. And of course you want to relax. I mean, you have to enjoy the experience. And as I always say, foreplay is for men. The more foreplay you have, the more touching and feeling that you have, the easier it is for you to get erections. And of course you wanna get into the game. When I say get into the game, I mean have your head in the game. I mean focus in. You're with the person you wanna be with, you wanna be intimate with, enjoy yourself with this person. The great thing about sex is that it allows two people at the same time to be in the moment. So you wanna really enjoy that moment. And here's the bonus. I know the things I said, some of it's like, oh God, no meat, no sugar, no alcohol. Uh, uh, what's going on? You have to think of it this way. Everything we do now is counter to what is good for our body in terms of we have so much electricity, we sleep, we have less sleep because, you know, if there's no electricity, let's say 200 years ago, no electricity, you go to sleep because it's dark outside. There's nothing else to do. So there's no electronics. Meat and alcohol was a rarity. You rarely got the chance to just go to a restaurant and eat and drink at the same time. Most people were living on a plant-based diet and also when it comes to exercise, there was no need for the gym. Living <laughs> was the gym. You know those stories about, yeah, I had to walk up the hill in the snow five miles to go to preschool. Well, yeah, that was true. There were no buses. It's either ride the horse or get to walking. So when it comes to the sexual performance game day plan, it's really just getting back to the basics. So in conclusion, before the game day, that 24 hours, you wanna go ahead and lift heavy or do high intensity interval training, no alcohol or animals, and get eight to 10 hours of high quality sleep. And for the pregame plan, you wanna do fasting or intermittent fasting, avoid sugar, meat, and masturbation and porn, and eat plant-based meals and get some meditation in. And of course, game time. Let's get the warm up going here. We're gonna warm up with doing stretches, doing yoga. Relax and enjoy the foreplay, enjoy the moment. And that's a really important part is to get into the moment so that you're enjoying it, you're having the performance that you want and you're ready for more. So here's the question of the day. Is there anything that you do? You have any game day practices, things that you do to get ready for a good sexual time? Leave those comments below. And as always, if you like what you heard, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and check out some of the other videos we have here on the Brian Ayers channel. And as always, this is Uncle B saying, get your game off. Peace out.